Bluebird 198, one local address established, Santa Bluebird 198, can you give me a wind check, please? Good morning, my name is Rafael de Toca. I've been in Iberia for 20 years, last eight years as a captain of A320, A319 and A321. We are here to perform a flight to Madrid, Paris, Paris early, and coming back. And here's my first officer. Good morning, my name is Laura Said. I'm first officer 320. I've been for, uh, flying for Iberia for nine years, and I am also flight safety officer from the flight safety department. And I'm, nowadays I'm flying 319, 20, and 21, and I also flew before the MD80. She's Panera, and I'm two years from Iberia. And here we have all the documents that are printed here directly from our computer. Those things, those uh, flight plans are performed by the flight dispatcher. They do it every, every day for all the flights uh, outgoing from Madrid. And uh, here we have uh, the flight plan, two copies, one for the captain, one for the co-pilot. We have the me meteorological information, the segment, the, all the charts, wind charts in uh, low and high altitudes, and we also have all the, the towers and meters of all the airports, Madrid, the destination airport, Paris Orly, we have the alternate, Lille, and also the overflight uh, airports. So we have uh, very nice weather in Paris, we have today uh, Cavoquet and 12 degrees now, and the Sigmet uh, and the and the tougher, sorry, says that maybe have a little bit of mist and fog. Okay, we also have the notams for Madrid here, for Paris early, for the alternates, and also we have here the intams, so the notams for for the company internal notams. For, for all the aircrafts and all, all the company in terms. And here also we have uh, the last information, which is uh, all the flights that we are going to perform in this three days uh, schedule, which is today uh, Paris early and coming back, and then finishing today in Jerez. All the times that we have to, to do, for example, when we have to have ready the aircraft to be board, and also the departure times, what type of aircraft we're going to fly, because as you know, we fly 319s like this, 320s and 321s, also we can switch it uh, uh, different days and, and different aircrafts in the different day. Also the passengers, and we have also if we have to, to change the aircraft or not. Okay? For all days, and also just the information where we can uh, say well, uh, about delays, which codes of delays we, we've had, if we already have it, because for the company, of course, one of the first and most important goals is the punctuality. So we have here all this, this data. So we're going to just to, to see and to check all the information for the flight and with the meteor. Okay, we have today uh, the 320. We have uh, the, the, the zero fuel weight. Today it's uh, plan is to be 58 uh, tons and 265 kilograms and also with the maximum so we can check that everything is correct. We have uh, information about uh, the, the route. Today is the Roble Dijo 1 Alfa Romeo departure which is the star and uh, the, the, the route for the whole flight and also the arrival to Paris, the Amboas 4 Whiskey arrival to Paris early. And uh, we have uh, the taxi times, the trip time and the fuel, and the holding if there is expected to be a holding in Paris, like for example today, like four minutes. This is the average holding times for the, for the season here in Paris. The contingency fuel, the alternate to Lille, and uh, if there are any final or additional reserves, of course, the 30 minutes of the holding. So the total fuel uh, re uh, plan for today's flight is 7,205 kilograms, and the minimum fuel, uh, fuel to the alternate to Lille is 2,600. Okay? Then we have more data about, for example, if, if uh, recharging more fuel is, uh, is at saving or is a cost, today will be cost, so it's, it's uh, like $36 more if we carry on uh, more fuel and then how much we, it will uh, um, consume for it, it's 1,000 kilograms, so 33 kilograms. Then we can see just the flight plan uh, data for all the, the, the points that we are going to overfly, which is the normal route to Paris early. 
and then also here we can see for example if there is any uh, wind shear predicted to be high or not today's very nice ride it's going to be just uh, a 2 over 16 so it's quite nice then we have uh, some uh, spaces to, to to ride down over in the flight for example uh, the maximum uh, flight level for long range if we have an engine failure and also the information for for arrival so we can we can have all the information in the same flight plan then we have the information about the, the flight levels and uh, the winds in, 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 uh, in altitudes and also if we can select a different uh, alternates like for example Paris Charles de Gaulle or, or Brussels instead of only Lille, the distances and also the, the fuel consumption to this and also the flight plan at the end to the, to the alternate. Okay? This would be the end and here we also have information about if there is any no talk for, for dangerous goods that we will carry or not, today no, and also information about, uh, um, for example, medical things for passengers or, or uh, not admittance of deportees in, in the flight. Mm -hmm. This will be, for example, my documentation, all my data. This is uh, Laura's one, which is exactly the same. It has the same information for Copilot. The first page also have the names of all the crew. So we have here the captain, the co-pilot, the, the chief flight attendant, and three, uh, three uh, other stewardess and stewards. And the same information that the captain has, absolutely the same. At the end, the same information, so we can even cut this and put it on the, on the, uh, on the glare shield. Okay. So, I think we have everything. We have to decide if uh, the fuel is correct for our flight today. So, with these conditions, I think that it's uh, fine, Laura, right? Because yeah. uh, uh, the flight is going to be nice. The, the weather uh, forecast is also good for our flight. So today we will fly to 36,000 feet. This will be our cruising level today with these weights, which will be the optimum flight level. And, uh, and uh, we will carry the, the fuel that is uh, proposed by our, our flight dispatcher. We have the flight dispatcher also here. Uh, so any case, in any time that we have to need more information or we want to talk to him something or we want some other extra information, he's here every day. We have an, uh, uh, one of our flight dispatchers, sometimes in, uh, in uh, we have two, so we can ask them uh, any information that we need. For example, that uh, the aircraft is late or there is a change of aircraft and they will uh, show us everything. So we can go to the, to the aircraft. Laura, is yeah. it okay? For Anything sure. that you would like to, to, to show us or to us? It's perfect everything you've said. I think uh, it's nothing to, to say more, but uh, as, as you said, I, it's okay the feel we have for today mm -hmm. due to the weather conditions and uh, I think we can go mm -hmm. and try to get the flight in uh, on time. On time. That, that is our goal yeah. for today. Great. The thing will be also mm -hmm. to check the no times on the aircraft so mm -hmm. we can go really straight to it and yeah. uh, fast and... and Okay. okay, let's go for it. Let's go. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the flight today. Uh, for, for us, the most important thing is safety, flight safety. So, uh, what I would like you to do today is that if you feel or hear or, you know, you know think that there are any vibrations or whatever in the aircraft, just feel very confident to tell us. Laura or me in any moment, whatever you, you see, okay? So, so we will be uh, aware of it, and uh, for us it's very important. You are our eyes, our senses in the, in the plane, right? Okay, one more thing about safety, which is very important, also about passengers. So anytime that uh, in the boarding you see that any passenger is uh, any kind of violent because of uh, alcohol or drugs, whatever, just let us know immediately so we can uh, disembark him and call the authorities and so we don't have to fly with a problem that we really know that it's going to be a problem. So let's eliminate our risks in our flights. Okay? This will be uh, the briefing for the, th the three days that we're going to fly together. Are you going to fly with us the three? three not, not you? Okay, okay. Well, we will miss you. <laughs> in this case, uh, for all of you, it will be the same, okay? So if there is any changes in the, or we have uh, some news about anything different, we will have a small briefing in that time, okay? 
Uh, for the data, for the flight data today? Yeah, it's good weather. Uh, it's one hour 50 of flight. And in Paris, we have the conditions smoother. We have any turbulence during the flight. So I think it's going to be a good Saturday for us. OK. So uh, one more thing. For other things about uh, just commercial things and all this stuff, OK, we were going to be standard. We will follow all the rules. And uh, for the new rule of the, for the ramps, yes. uh, we will do the new, of course, and, and we will tell you any time. And Laura will say through the PA when we will have to arm and disarm in the new, in the new procedure. OK, if you have any doubt, if you have any question, if you want to know something else that you are not sure about it, just let us know any time. Okay? To go through the cockpit, we talked a little bit earlier about the passwords, okay? so we will follow them. And, uh, uh, but after that, if you want, you can come to the cockpit and check whatever you want. Okay? And uh, just feel comfortable to ask anything you want in any time of the flight. And, uh, do you have any question? Everything is fine for you, yeah, guys? Okay. Everything fine? Okay, perfect. Great. Right now we are going to perform the walk around for the aircraft. It's very important due to the security because uh, this is the first flight of the day. We have daily check performed from a maintenance team. But even though it's the last chance we have to see if uh, there is any kind of uh, hydraulic uh, leak or any kind of uh, damage with all these machines we have around the aircraft. So I have to do it 10 minutes before the, the flight is gone, so it's the last chance to see any problem we have. We perform uh, this walk around every flight and uh, every single stop we do with the aircraft. Even more is the first flight of the crew with this flight. This is a 320, as we know, we have 319, 320, 321, this is the medium range of the uh, fleet and we are going to start then now i'm going to tell the captain he has to switch me on the lights so i call him to uh, the test the cockpit call push button you know i see the lights are working properly this is the landing lights the taxi lights the anti-collision and also the landing lights and when i see that they are working properly I call him again, so now he's switching off the lights, right now. <laughs> now what I have to see, is there any pitots for the airspeed are okay, there's no, uh, any mosquitoes, any, nothing around it, and also the radar, the, 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 uh, there's no any strike of any bird strikes or any, uh, any kind of damage to the aircraft. Then we go this side. I have to look inside here, there is uh, anything uh, somebody has to put inside and also there is any hydraulic leak and any uh, spare that is any important. Also the... Uh, here. Let's go. Very noisy. Also I have to look through the hose that there is nothing broken and it's okay let's go this way i have to look that uh, all the fan calls and all the engines are properly uh, there is any bird strike on it and also if uh, today nowadays uh, now it's summertime but in winter time and we have to look that there's no ice in them and you know it's free of movement and there's no no problem with it. Let's continue over here. Also, everything has to be closed, nothing open, and also the wheels. As we can see, they are really new. They've changed their wheels uh, this night, all the main landing gear wheels. So, it's, it's, they are new. Also, the brakes here, I can see if the brakes are. Uh, if, if I wouldn't see nothing of this, that does, the brakes are gone, like this part, you know, it's, when it's just in front, is that the brakes are, you have to change the brakes. Perfect, so we'll go this way. And also I have to lead to the slats. 
there is nothing in rock here. Also the navigation lights, the green ones in the right hand side of the aircraft, and also all the statics. We have to have four and the six in total over here that we are not missing any of them. We continue this way. And I also text that the trucks are on and any damage. No. There's nothing, you know, maybe sometimes if there is any hydraulic leak in the aircraft, you see it because you have to be very uh, careful with the, the uh, liquids you see uh, uh, down in the floor because sometimes if you feel it's hydraulic or oil maybe you can detect you are having an hydraulic leak or an oil leak or any kind of problem of, uh, uh, of the winds and of the uh, engines and sometimes you see something and you stop the aircraft and you say okay maintenance come here because you can uh, really detect a lot of uh, problems you can have later on the flight so it's very important to do it quite calm and quite properly done okay the, the other part of the aircraft, the other side, is, is the, exactly the same. We perform the same check with the wheels, with the engines and with the wings, and also with the leaks. And uh, the, only, the only difference is that the left-hand side of the aircraft is the red lights, but uh, it's completely the same. Here we go. Also the wheels, also the brakes, also there is any hydraulic leaks, perfect, the brake pans, perfect, and sometimes you have to take care because if it's the first flight of the day, maybe they, they've took the aircraft from uh, the, uh, in another position, so they take with the tow bar and maybe the gear pins are also uh, already uh, set, so you have to be very careful that uh, you don't have the gear pins on the main landing gear. That after all, you cannot switch, uh, you know, to, to retract the landing gear, or uh, there is quite of things to see and to take care of. Let's see. Uh huh. Perfect. This is the red. Navigation light at the left hand side. Perfect. You know, it's very important that they all the all the 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 codes of the engine are closed. All the switches. Perfect. Okay, let's go upstairs. Buenos días, señoras y señores. Les habla el comandante para darles la bienvenida a bordo. Mi nombre es Rafael de Toca. Cumpliendo con el horario programado de salida, vamos a iniciar nuestro vuelo Iberia 3436 con destino al aeropuerto de Orly en París en breves instantes, que durará aproximadamente una hora y 30 minutos. Hoy vamos a despegar por la pista 36 derecha en rumbo norte y veremos eh, Madrid en el lado izquierdo en el despegue y en el lado derecho para Cuellos del Jarama, Torrejón de Ardoz, Alcalá de Henares. Procederemos a sobrevolar la provincia de Guadalajara. Tan pronto cuando estemos en vuelo les informaré del resto de la ruta, condiciones meteorológicas y alguna información adicional interesante. Muchas gracias por su atención. Les deseo un feliz vuelo. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking to welcome you on board. My name is Rafael de Toca. According to schedule, we're going to start the flight in just a few moments. Iberia 3436 destination, the airport of Orly in Paris. That will take us approximately one hour and 30 minutes. Today we will depart runway 36 right north heading. In the departure, we will see Madrid on the left-hand side of the aircraft and uh, Paracuellos del Jarama, Torrejón de Ardoz, Alcalá de Henares on the right. Then we will overfly Guadalajara. As soon as we get airborne, I will let you know the rest of the route, the weather conditions, and some additional information. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a pleasant flight. Okie dokie. Perfecto. Good morning, Madrid. This is Iberia 3436. Madrid, good morning, Iberia 3436. Iberia 3466, go ahead. 
3436, good morning. Airbus 320, Star 394, with information Alpha, startup to Paris or Lyft. Iberia 3436, startup approved and you're clear to destination Paris, runway 36 right, Roble Dillo 1 Alpha Romeo and Squawk 1043. Yes, startup approved, clear destination Paris or Lyft, 36 right, Roble Dillo 1 Alpha Romeo and Squawk 1043, Iberia 3436. Iberia 3436 is correct. When fully ready for the push, call ground on 123.00. Adios, nice flight. 123.00, bye-bye, thank you, Iberia 3436. Okay, perfect. Perfect. No delays, Great. no delays, no delays. by the moment. Okay, okay sin, uh, since uh, Laura has been doing uh, the, the walk around, I've been uh, checking all the preliminary uh, preparation of the cockpit and I selected everything in our FMGC. So let's check first the departure route, okay? Yeah. Today is a uh, Robledillo 1 Alpha departure, uh -huh. okay? So let's talk about a little bit uh, about the departure. So we're going to take off in the runway 36 right. Uh -huh. The most important thing today is that we have a threat today. There are only two runways, one for takeoff, one for landing, because they are uh, doing the maintenance work in the weekend on the left runways. So, and also that in the 80s says that uh, there are turbulence in departure, okay? Mm -hmm. So we will select the, the, the toga, okay? Okay. Right, so uh, departing runway 36 right, we will do the Robledillo 1 Alpha Romeo departure, yeah. which is, uh, let's check it also here. Yeah, it's okay. also here. We will depart on runway heading, then we will turn to uh, heading 017 uh -huh. to Mike Delta 021 and yeah. a minimum of 2900. It's on course train. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then on the radial 042 to Mike Delta 036. Yep. Okay. And from there we'll fly to Robledillo, uh -huh. which is... Uh, Let's select it in the in the number two, okay? Okay. Robledillo with the 042 will be on a minimum of 8,000. Uh -huh. Is it okay? Okay. It's okay. It's a set on constraint. Okay. Uh, let's continue with the briefing yeah. and uh, after the the star, mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit in case of engine failure. Yeah. I have selected in the secondary flight plan. Yeah. The the engine failure procedure for the runway 36 right, yep. which is to climb straight ahead, uh -huh. and then on the 024 radial of uh, Bravo Romeo Alpha, then we will turn left yep. to proceed on the QDM 260 of uh, Alpha Charlie Delta, yep. and then coming back to Golf Echo, which uh -huh. is also selected in the in the ADF number one, all right? right. And then we will climb to 4,000 feet, which is the MSA, right? Okay. Okay, that uh, is what I selected yeah. here, mm -hmm. and that is what we get. In that case, which is drawn here, mm -hmm. then we will go also coming back to Golf Echo, and uh -huh. I close it through Tobek, and Perfect. coming back to land on the runway 33 right. Okay? okay. 33 right, which is the only available for landing. Okay. Okay? Right, okay, let's do the briefing. It's... And um, in case of engine failure, mm -hmm. I will say uh, aborto, and I will uh, select the reverse thrust, and you check that the auto brakes are working and the uh, spoilers also. If not, just let me know, so I will act them manually. Right? Okay. So we will stop the aircraft, we will check that it's totally stopped and that the brakes have pressure, and then in that case, we, you will do the ECAM. If we don't have ECAM, then you just... Uh, read the list mm -hmm. and I will do, okay? That will be absolutely standard. In case the engine failure becomes after V1, then I will fly, navigate and communicate uh -huh. and you will uh, perform the ECAM and the lists, okay? If it is really, really uh, a big problem, then 400 feet and initial, initiated the, the landing gear up, mm -hmm. then I will fly, I will make uh, 1,500 feet uh, which I selected in the performance, 3,500, okay. okay? Then I will make just a, a quick turnaround to the runway 33 right, okay? Okay. Right? If there is no nothing to rush, then we will continue on the normal uh, star, uh, on the seat, sorry, on the seat departure, and then we will just continue, okay? Okay. After the MSA, we will just uh, do the ECAM, and well, then we can read all the lists and everything, okay? Perfect. Right. 
Uh, anything that you would like to tell me? Uh, just in case uh, we have to perform an evacuation, I will okay. be the first one uh, to try to leave the aircraft okay. uh, through the Good. one of the two front doors. Sure. And I will try to coordinate the evacuation downstairs, uh, 100 meters uh, to, towards the direction of the wind, Great. and uh, try to Great. to move Great. the passengers. Fantastic. It's three three right, so maybe left hand side of the field. Okay. Great. We have already the load sheet here. Yeah. And let me first of all give it you all the uh, the figures. Yes. Okay. We have uh, a Mach of zero fuel weight. Yep. It's uh, 32.6. 32.6. And the zero fuel weight actual it is uh, minus uh, 300 approximately is uh, 57.2. 57.2 is 1,000 less than flight plan, so it's okay, okay. for the fuel consumption. Fantastic. And with a uh, 7.4 block fuel uh -huh. is 64.3. Absolutely perfect. perfect. And then the mark of takeoff weight yeah. is 31.1. Okay. 31.1. Okay, we have one passenger less, so 147, mm -hmm. which is a, a and we have 13 back less, which is uh, 116 bucks we have already. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go with uh, with. Uh, three six right is uh, three twenty B four. Right. Uh -huh. So it's a snow jello sheet, and it's for our type of aircraft mm -hmm. and engines. Mm -hmm. So our uh, gross weight, takeoff weight, sixty four point three. Should be with flap two, sixty-four point four or sixty-five point three different two knots and uh, two flex, but it's turbulent, so it's toga. Oh yeah. So, so the one of uh, yeah, one of forty-six with configuration two. Would configuration be two with flap yeah. okay. two. Okay, it's wind calm mm -hmm. and it's a one four six v one. One four six. One four six B R and a one four nine one four nine B G. Okay. No flex due to the no turbulence. Flex. Okay, perfect. Configuration G. Okay. No shift for okay. today, and we have a special noise abutment three thousand five hundred five thousand. Okay. And In we case weight sixty four thousand three hundred, which is below the maximum landing weight. Yeah. So perfect. Right. Okay, minimum uh, acceleration altitude. 3, 3, we selected uh, 3,500 to have the 1,500 above the ground. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Well, in that case, let's ask for the pushback. Okay. Good morning, Matri Iberia. 3436, stand 394, fully ready for push. Iberia 3436, stand 394. Yes. Affirm. Iberia 346, the push is approved. Push Iberia, 3436. Okay, push no. back approved. Uh, tierra. Hola, Tierra. Buenas. Okay, let's go with all the, the, the checklists, okay? Okay, okay. grabando. Let's go. It's copy crew checklist. Copy crew checklist. Copy crew checklist. Copy crew Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers removed. Signs. On, auto. Emergency lights. Arm. Adirs. We have it in NAF. Ocean press. We have 1,490 check. Check. OCM mass. Check on 100. 100 for our three. Fuel quantity. Fuel quantity. We have 7,400 and balanced. And uh -huh. disconnected the central pumps. 7,500 balanced. Which is correct for this flight. Barrow ref. Barrow ref. Uh, 1,019, 1,019 with 2,020. 2,020. And cross check. Cross check. Briefing. It's performed. Performed. And the skit and will still off. Copy crew checklist completed. Thank you. As you can see, we are really fast in this uh, turnarounds because we have to do it as as punctual as we can do it. So mm -hmm. all the checks are really fast in this aircraft. You will see it also when we come back from Paris. And you know, any time we have a small problem like today, which was just a, a very easy thing with a with the PA of the, of the chief flight attendant was solved really fast, but everything comes, you know, a lot of a lot of things in the same moment, and uh, finally we manage them. So we are going to start the flight now. On time. Eh. On time. Tierra. Eh, estamos completamente listos. Frenos fuera y podemos echar para atrás y me dices cuando te arrancamos el dos y el uno. Sí, dentro de un poquito cuando avancemos. Ah, sí, que este es el del otro. Sí. Vale, Venga. avísame. Pues iniciamos retroceso. Le doy lo de las. Gracias. Ahora o. Ah, sí. 
Okay, so speed managed, heading managed, heading vertical speed, uh, uh, 13,000 vertical speed managed, flight director 1019, constraints arc 10, and both boards, uh -huh. which are in this case uh, Bravo Romeo Alpha and Romeo Bravo Oscar. My, minus 40, 146, 149, climb nav, one flight director two, yep. 13,000, 2020, 1019 the QNH, and we have 050 now, which is okay. correct. Okay, and it's minus correct. one. Minus Let's one. Let's go with, uh, with the before start. And it's lights are armed. Check. And before. it's lights armed. Thanks. Before I start checklist, coordinated check. Perform. Perform. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. Is on. Translevers. Idle. Parking brake. It's off. Cockpit door. Closed and locked. ATC transponder. It's set on 1043 and 1 and above. Bef set. Before the start checklist completed. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to start the engines. We will start with engine number two uh -huh. and then engine number one. As soon as the, as the ground personnel tell us that we can start because we were on the last parking position of this part of the airport and we cannot start the engines until we are a little away from the airport. Ahora. Ahora. Eh, puede poner frenos y sí, ya. Frenos puestos. Y ya tiene el freno de motores, puede poner Venga, marcha, dos. Bien. Start in engine number two. Okay, start valve open. Okay. Thanks. N2. Now we are knowing that uh, the N2 compressor is rising yeah. and it gets to Está the two. Gracias. When it gets to the 22, then it will uh, automatically select the fuel, and we will check that the N1 is rotating right now also. And uh, 22, then we count time, and it starts the EGT rising, and all this, the engine is starting. So Oil press, it's correct. Green, great, thanks. Libre el uno. Start about closed. Start in engine number one. Uh huh. One twenty. EGT decreasing in number two. Stabilize. Start about open. Está girando. Gracias. N two. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Stabilize engine number two. Check. N one. Fuel flow. EGT. And uh, the EGT is decreasing of number one, and engine number one also is stabilized. Stabilized. So let's go with the after start checklist, please. After start checklist, anti ice. It's, uh, we will check it before, after okay. that. ACAM status. It's uh, checked now with the center tank only, so it's correct. Flaps. Flaps two and green. Trims, 31. Zero and 31. APU. It's off. Anti skid and nozzle swim on. After the start checklist completed. Okay. So let's go with the taxi clearance, please. Okay. We ready for taxi, Beria 3436. Beria 3436, Arroyo Taxi via Juliet, Holzor of Delta. Juliet, Holzor Delta, Beria 3436. Okay, Juliet, Holzor Delta. Okay. The flight controls. Clear right. Clear right. Clear left. Clear left. Let's go with it. Okay. And. So the brakes, we check no brake, left brake and right brake. Let's go with uh, the anti-ice if okay. you want. Thanks. Iberia 3436, buenos dias. Continue via Mike to holding point runway 36 right. Mike holding point 36 right, Iberia 3436. And we have only four aircrafts ahead. So uh, in a little more than five minutes, we'll be airborne. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the checklist. Okay. Taxi checklist. Thank you, Laura. Oh, <laughs> flight control. Full aft. Full down. Neutral. Full left and spoilers. Full right and spoilers. Neutral. Okay, and the pedals. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Okay. Let's go with mine. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So now we checked in the in the flight con in the flight uh, control uh, screen 
in the system display that all the uh, controls are uh, moved in the way that are should be okay mm -hmm. and that's we do it in this side and also in the copilot side I should check the hydraulic because okay. may, if we have any hydraulic leak, we'll see it now moving the flight controls. Okay, perfect. So let's go with the taxi checklist now. Thanks. Taxi checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Check. Uh, slides. Is uh, slides or arm? Arm. Instrument departure. Okay, instrument departure from the runway 36 right, Robledi Yo 1 Alpha Romeo, which is checked. And uh, we there is no change, so great. Sorry. Don't worry, we stand by with the checklist, you can call them, and then we will continue with the checklist. Madrid, buenos días, Iberia 3436. Iberia 3436, hello, continue to Yankee 1, hold short. Yankee 1, hold short, Iberia 3436. Okay, we will hold short, Yankee 1. All right, let's continue with the checklist, please. Flight instruments. Well, the flight instruments are checked. Check, briefing. Uh, the briefing is uh, it's confirmed, there is no changes, and uh, I fly, there are no overweight for the landing if we have to come back, uh -huh. and the SID is uh, the same as, uh, as we selected and we planned, so no changes. And take of data. Is take of data. 146, 146, 149, Toga. Okay. 13,000 feet, okay. flap G, and right. 64.4. That's perfect, so there is no overweight. Taxi checklist completed. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, not at all. Okay, we are at Yankee 1, yep. holding short. Before takeoff checklist, please. Before takeoff checklist. Scabbing crew? Ready and advised. Chicas? It's on TARA 1043, which is set. Any mode selector? Normal. Pax? Los quitamos. Yes, please. Off. Thank you. An ECA memo. Take off no blue. All green, flap two. And uh, we are not ready clear yeah. for takeoff. Three All six right. right. Yeah, 320. Thank you very much. Before we takeoff, have checklist completed. Headwind. Yep. And a little, you know, gusty, a little bit to the left. It was zero 050, zero. the direction. Iberia 35 Kilo Lima, 24, 225, buen vuelo. 24, 225, Iberia 35 Kilo Lima, buen día. Iberia 3436, wind call, clear for take off, runway 36 right. Clear for take off, 36 right, Iberia 3436. Let's go, my friends. Let's go. Okay, take off. Take off. So, good acceleration. Okay. Let's go. Is uh, manual Toga, SRS, and auto thrust blue. Check. Take of power is set. Checked. 100. 100. V1, rotate 320. Positive climb. You're up. You're up. Enough. Enough. 400. Lights. Out. Thanks. 24, hasta luego. 124, 225, hasta luego, Iberia, 3436. Autopilot 1, engaged. Autopilot number 1, engaged. Autopilot 1. El nuestro en 853, pero Madrid, 875, hasta luego. Hernos sumo 8530, cambio ahora con Madrid en frecuencia 24875.
So now let me talk a little bit afterwards. The, we have the SID that we have explained. Now uh, we are going to talk about the route. So uh, we are right now at 36,000 feet, which is our, our uh, cruising altitude. And also our optimum cruise level will be 375, uh -huh. so very close to it. In any case, because this is a short uh, route, uh, very shortly the French control we will uh, tell us to descend to lower levels. So we are not going to go to 380 because in, in a moment, in some minutes, we will have to descend. Okay. That is normal operation here in, in France. So right now we are overhead uh, San Sebastian, as you can see, so the last point of, the, of Spain, and we are flying parallel to the West Atlantic coast of France. Uh, we're going to the point Lucem, Abim Lucem in, in that case. This is Biarritz. We can see outside also Biarritz. And from here we are going to fly. The next point will be Lulut. From Lulut we will fly to Bravo Mike Charlie, which is Bordeaux, the city of Bordeaux. From there we will fly to Charlie November Alpha, which is Cognac. And then we will fly to Tudra, which is the city of Tours. And then finally flying to Amois the point which is the initial approach, and from there we'll fly to Charlie Alpha Delta, Odran, and then Basol, which is the, the last point for the approach in the runway 26. Until here we will maintain uh, 1, 000, uh, 100, uh, 11, 000. and from here we will fly in a, in a left downwind for the runway 26 from this point, which is above, uh, a beam, the threshold for the for the uh, other runway, then the, we will start the descent in heading normally to flight level 70 probably, and then it, it, it depends on the traffic that we will have in in early. Then they will turn uh, to a left base, and then we will fly to the to the localizer of the runway 26 with these with these restrictions. So the restrictions of 110 over Papa Oscar 615 and 3000 overhead the, the final approach fix. Also, we have to fly out run at 110 and 250 uh, minimum, maximum speed but minimum altitude, and uh, Charlie Alpha Delta at 130. Okay. okay. So that will be the route today for the flight. Okay. So let's uh, continue with the uh, descent briefing. Yep. We're going to perform the Amboas 4 whiskey arrival. Yeah. Let us check it here. That says that we'll have to fly from uh, Charlie Alpha Delta at yep. uh, 130, yeah, it's which is uh, altitude constraint, which yep. is set. set. And let me follow here. From there, we will fly to Odran, good is at uh, 110 and 250 for the runway 26. That yep. is the one that we are going to land. That is the air the RNAV uh, approach yep. um, was, and then we will follow with the ILS chart which is uh, the chart number 47 of uh, July the 2nd of yep. 2009 yep. I, uh, RNAV ILS uh, DME 26 Oscar Lima Whiskey which is selected on the radio navigation 11111.7 yep. with a course of 255 which is correct okay yep. from Odran we will fly to um, uh, Vassol, uh -huh. we have it, uh, let me go in the navigation display, yep. Odran and Vassol, okay, we are here, from Vassol we will fly to Papa Oscar 615 with a constraint of flight level 110, yep. which is what we were saying about in the route, that we will have to be level, because the departures of the runway 24, for, uh, which is in service in, in Paris for takeoffs, the southerly flights will go below us with a maximum constraint of uh, flight level 100. Yep. So we will have to be very uh, careful with the level bust. So uh, we will have to be uh, conscious about that, okay? Perfect. So uh, after flying Papa Oscar 615, we can expect headings, normally yep. heading 075 and uh, descending to, to flight level 070, yeah. and then we will pass to the 
chart number 48, uh, the same data, and uh, we have the uh, ready, uh, ready Navigation aides will be Oscar Lima, or Lee, and also Mike Lima, November Melun. One, three, two, four, three, zero. One, three, two, four, three, kilo zero. uniform. Thank you. Set. Paris, bonjour, Iberia 3436, down from level 260. Iberia 3436, bonjour. Uh, clear level is still 260, set course to Amboise. Direct Amboise, Iberia 3436. Merci. Okay. Okay. Flying to Amboise. Amboise. All right. So, let's continue. I was saying that uh, we have also uh, Mike Lima November, number two. Yeah. Radio aid navigation. With this radial, we will talk about the in case of go around, okay? Okay. Okay. 295 in selected. All right. 295 selected. Okay. So let's continue with this. And uh, as I was telling you, we are going through yep. Amboise, okay, Odran, Basol, and Papa Oscar 615. Okay. From here, flying manually, as it says in the in the in the flight plan, to intercept the the glide slope probably at 3,000 can yeah. be at 4,000, 3,000, or a minimum radar clearance of 2,000. Yeah on a glide slope of 3 uh, degrees, uh -huh. so, uh, it's a normal one, and to a minimum of uh, 490, which yeah. is also set, as we can see here yeah. in the MDA. We have selected here in the performance page with all the data for the, the, the MET data. We have uh -huh. the Q&As 1020, temperature in Paris 16, and the wind is, in, is calm. Okay. These are the, the MDA, and also the speeds for the flap selection. And the speed for approach 135 we've checked here also in the qrd we have a, the uh -huh. same in case we don't have it with this weight 61 we have 131 144 187 yep. and 207 so we have the same data for landing so that is checked uh -huh. so uh, so going to the minimums in case we have to make to perform a go around yeah I will say go around, go around power flaps, and then we will continue with the procedure. And we have here also selected the in the flight plan vale. the, uh, the the navigation in case of go around. And let's check it. It says on heading yes. 255 to 700 feet, yeah. left turn to intercept radial 231 from Oscar Lima yeah. VOR. Already to, set. Exactly, to the... DME 12 of Oscar Lima and 2,000 yeah. feet, so that will be our first constraint. Restraint. Then we will turn left to intercept the radial 282 from Melun, Mike uh -huh. Lima, November. So we will proceed on uh, 102 up to 4,000. And uh, up Melun, we will hold at 6,000. Well, 132265. Merci. Paris, bonjour, Iberia, 3436, flat level 36. Uh, 3436, uh, bonjour, en bas, whisky arrival, speed uh, 320 knots maximum. Okay, 320 knots maximum, and en bas, uh, for whisky arrival, Iberia, 3436. Okay, let's maintain 300, okay? Okay. Okay, we will continue with this, and we check that it is also yeah. on, the, on the flight management computer. Yep. So we will fly to Melun, and then we will fly to Molec, and then uh -huh. maintain 6,000, which is exactly what the chart says. So everything is correct. Okay. Perfect. Let's talk also about other things, which are the runway. Yes. Okay, so the runway 26. Run I have oops. here the distance already. Uh, Do you have calculated yes. the distance, which is what? Uh, after running distance for our weight, yeah. uh, if it's a um, manual break without the 15%, it's 840. 840. Plus uh, 1,500. Plus the 15%, yeah. yeah. Medium break, uh, manual land uh, is a 1248. 1248. And low is 1847. 1847. Okay, yes, perfect. Think. We are going to perform uh, this for flap full. Sure. I don't know, it's flap 3 with We will do it with flap 3. Okay, okay, so I have to take another. Okay, okay let me select the flap 3 here. Okay. Sin and then you calculate this, and I will uh, select here. The flap three for landing. Okay. okay. We have two possibilities for landing. We yes. can select flap full or flap three. In yes. this case, we'll do it with configuration three because the weight is uh, low enough, uh -huh. the runway is long enough, 
So uh, an we will break. save an auto brake. Yes. Of course, we will select auto brake low. Okay. okay. So auto brake low with For 62, mm -hmm. and uh, it's with a dry runway. Is 2,063. 2,063. Plus okay. 15. Plus 15. Okay. We will we will uh, select uh, low. And uh, we have a runway of 2,885 meters. Okay. So, uh, in any case, because I will uh, probably select the manual braking when we Perfect. when we see that we will leave over the Whiskey 35. Okay. Yes. So we will land here, yeah. and then we will proceed and leave the runway over Whiskey 35 and okay. Whiskey 36. So G we will move the chart from here. Here okay. is Whiskey 36, on the way to our parking position, which are these ones in the early west part of the airport then we will uh, normally we will follow this route which is l first left which is whiskey one and first right which okay. is whiskey two and follow here we will have two possibilities to get through the gates which will be L lima sierra or lima romeo okay. and then normally to one of these papa which are the normal parking positions for our, our flights. Yes, okay. at least we have 2,700 till okay. for Whiskey 36, Fantastic. so it's perfect. So it's perfect, okay. In any case, we can uh, land with flap 3, we select it, and 110. Yep. Uh, okay, so 110, speed descent. 110, okay. speed and, descent. Uh, so I will select the reverse in idle, okay. okay? Just also, we will only use it in full for safety reasons, okay. as it says here in the in the uh, approach information about Orly. Okay. Is there any uh, anything in the I was going to have a look for, through that, and okay. uh, it says uh, nothing important for us today. Okay, nothing no. uh, that uh, no, we'll have today. to worry about. So all the runways are fine. Also the taxiways fine. and the aids, navigation also aids, perfect. Uh, there's yeah. nothing important We check this today. information also when we oh. started the flight, so we know that everything is fine. It's always, it's also uh, only saying that uh, for runway 06. The other ones, yeah. Uh, it's the ILS out of service. But yeah, but that's, that's, that's not our it's runway, it's so our runway. that is great. Okay, that is great. I selected in the speed uh, pins yeah. what we should, so the open, which is uh, 2005, yeah. And the V approach for flap 3, which is plus 5, 140, okay? Okay. Okay, so there are no no threats today. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the day is uh, fantastic. The weight is uh, 4, 000, 4 tons below the maximum landing weight. The yeah. runway is long enough. Paris, the air traffic control here in Paris is uh, very good, so we don't have to worry about it. And we have all the calculations done, yep. and everything is fine. You think anything else to talk about in the descent uh, briefing? No, I think no. it's okay. Everything. So let's do the descent checklist, please. Descent checklist. Briefing. Perform. ECAM status. ECAM status. We will have the central tank pumps. Landing and so runway data. Langway and runway data are checked. The runway is the runway 26, and the landing data is already uh, done with the radio navigation aids uh -huh. and the progress page also with uh, Oscar Lima. Minimum safe altitude. Check. The minimum safe altitude is checked 490, and we have it also in the in the performance and here in the in the uh, FMA. Descent checklist completed. Perfect. Thank you. So this is a quite long approach because they want you low enough, far away, because we are right now about 60, well, yeah, in a, in 60 miles away from the, from the airport. And we are 14,000 feet right now. So they want us to be at uh, 30 miles from the airport at flight level 110. And we will fly at about 20 miles, 20 to 30 miles on that level and with 250 knots. So it's not a very efficient approach, but uh, because uh, Paris has uh, two big airports, you know, Charles de Gaulle and, and Orly, it's quite a saturated airspace. Yeah. And also they have Le Bourget, so it is uh, not one of the most efficient ones, but that is normal in Europe. Paris, bonjour, Iberia 3436. We have uh, information. Juliet. Juliet and uh, flight level 112.
Bonjour, Bayard, 3436. Maintenant, 110 reaching, départ au droit, LS26. Ok, 110, departure au droit, 26. Okay, we just received the clearance, depart au droit, on runway 26, in the approach that we have selected. So everything is correct. Well, well, speed 220. When, uh, with what we have with plan. Bayard, 3436, turn left heading 070, descend 4000 feet, can reach 1020. With Kenneth 1020, 4000 feet, and left heading 070, Liberia 3436. Okay, heading okay. 070 to 20, and descending 4000 feet with 1020, 1020. Okay, let's go with the approach. Well, the descent checklist and the approach checklist. Yeah, the descent was already, ah, descent was already done, so approach checklist, please. Approach. Nav accuracy. It's uh, to Oscar Lima, GPS primary high, it's uh, checked. Check. Cabin crew. It's uh, advised. Sequence. On. It's uh, 1020, 10,900 now. Set and check. MDA. MDA, 490 set. Engine start selector. Normal. Briefing. It's perform, uh, confirmed. Approach checklist complete. We have a slot of time, so great. Oh, At perfect. 10, 10, 5. Of course, great, great. About 150, 60. Good. Alt. 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 Let me select 184. Okay. We're going to establish in the localizer in seconds. Okay. Two, one, lock start. Lock start. Establish localizer runway 26. You ready? 3436. My 3436. We use speed 180. Contact tower 1187. Bye. 1887. No one missed the other person. You ready? 3436. Hello. How do you do it? Three knots. Take a runway 24, we're at 3441. Yeah. Well, just in case, okay, I'm going to select it. Paris, bonjour, Québec, Sierra 3436, established. Paris, bonjour, Québec, Sierra 3436, bonjour, continue, ILS approach runway 26. We continue, ILS 26, Iberia 3436. GS star, unlock. 2000 for the missile approach. Okay, perfect. 2,500. Minimum 490. Check minimum 490. French West 540. Autorise le décollage, piste 24, le vent 180 degrés, sinon. Autorise le décollage, French West 540. Il y a 3441, call departure, 12775, good bye. 2775, bye. Et à France 3371, à droite, le sol 121, c'est à toi. Air France Victor Alpha, autorisé atterrissage 26, 180 degrés, signe. Autorisé atterrissage 26, Air France Victor Alpha. Il est dans. Il est dans. Personne à bord. On descend vers 1000 pieds, on a copié Orly face à l'ouest. Speed 160. C'est reçu de Delta rappelé avant de croiser les axes vertical tour. Rappel avant de croiser les axes vertical tour, Delta vous voulez un petit 40 de 10 42, 40. 4, 2, 4, 0, Delta Down 3 green lights. Down 3 green. Four miles, flap three. Speed check, flap three. Speed in managed. Speed in managed, check. And landing flat checklist, three. please. Landing checklist. Auto thrust. It's uh, off now. Okay. Eka memo. Landing, no blue. All green, flap three. 1,000 feet, stabilized. 1,000 stabilized, autopilot disconnect. Check. And not clear to land yet. No, it's on the wrong way the other track. Yeah. 540, on lier par 127.75, au It's going to be reverse idle. Thank you. 127.75, okay. et pour info, on a dû toucher un oiseau, uh, 540. Uh, reçu, je vous remercie. Vous voulez la sécurité, non, vous n'avez pas de problème Non, non, on n'a pas de problème. D'accord. On les tower, bonjour, j'ai un montant 466 à l'est, 26. Ok, it's going to... Clear us now, Chilean. Okay. Great. Tower, uh, bonjour, dear Malta 466. Malta 466, bonjour, continue, yes, approach runway 26. Continue approach 26, Malta 466.
Et apparemment, oui, une collision avec un oiseau, c'est ça, je comprends, non Voilà, c'est ça, donc euh, on va faire un contrôle avant votre départ. Et sans problème, ça nous va bien. D'accord. Good landing. Ground spoilers, yeah. reverse green. And diesel. Roll out. 100. 100. This is Whiskey 35. Yes. I do manually. Okay, 80 knots. 60 knots. Okay, thanks. Back it in line, we're ready at 3, 4, 6, 8. Okay. This guy is totally stopped. Okay. 
Parking checklist. APU bleach. It's off. Engines. Off. Seat belts. Off. External lights. For the flight coming back. Okay. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. On and pressure. Chocks set. Confirmed. Parking checklist completed. Thank you very much. Thank you.